Hello everyone and welcome to the Blockception server. This is my new private server which I'm splitting with some other people on the server. It's an 18 slot server from Beastnode and it's costing $10 a month but we're pretty much splitting it so it's only like 175 each. So yeah, we just got started out here. We switched over to this server because Damn Near Vanilla used to be the server I frequented. But then there were some complications with them near vanilla which resulted in me getting banned and a lot of other people abandoning the server so now we're on this one and along with this i'll be done with z-man server because i'd rather dedicate more time into this so sorry if you were following that video those videos because they're not going to go any further i'm done with that server all right so we've been playing on here for a couple days now so we built a little town here there's a Chunk error, I'll relog really quick. Okay, so we've got a little town here. Here's the nether portal. If you go back here, this is Jurgen's place back here. I haven't seen it yet, so let's go look at that. Alright, it's so really not much in here. Just some basic stuff. Lots of glass. And a mine. Alright, so that's Jurgen's place. And these aren't main houses, these are just little townhouses. We basically decided that most of us were going to build a small house here. Just because this is going to be where the nether portal always connects and we want to have at least a small base set up. So this would be Marcus's or 18 MBR's house. And I really like how he did this wool pattern, that looks pretty cool. Oh, furnace and craft bench on the ceiling, that's smart. Uh, this is Cade's house over here. Uh, way too many varieties of wood, if you ask me. Uh, really, eh, but... Interesting patterns, but it looks very strange, so... Yeah, the people on the server of varying skill levels is probably a good way of putting it, so some houses are better than others. Main houses are going to be very far away from each other and linked by nether portals, that way it works out better. So here's Evan's house in progress. Uh, looks like he's cooking up smooth stone to make some stone brick. He's got decent amount of stuff. Alright, so then if you come over on the road, here's Teddy Bear Domo's place. You got wheat planted along the whole coast. Um, then she's got a melon patch here. Inside, you got basic furniture. I'm not sure why she uses sand in here. It kind of looks strange. Let's see what's in here. Not much. Then if you come upstairs, triple bed. Another chest with more stuff in it. Who is following me? Alright, so we're gonna run over here. She still hasn't fixed that stair issue on the corners. He, she really needs to do that. That's really making me mad. So we've got a bridge going over a little body of water here. Uh, yeah, so up on the left, we've got Andy's or Domstang 68's house. Yeah, I see he's done some stuff with the floor since last time I saw it. This looks really good. I like the jack-o'-lanterns with the light wood. He's got a lot of supplies. He's really geared out. And this is just a temp house. Let's see, under here, looks like he's doing some stuff, but not much. And then here's my house, which has been neglected for a while now, because I've been digging a tunnel for, like, two days. But, yeah... Got a few chests here just to store stuff. All my main resources are over at my mushroom island that I found. So there's two stairs that wrap around here. And then I've got a sniper balcony. And speaking of snipers, there's a skeleton. Main of Arthropods 3. Highest quality sword in existence. And... 
another chunk error. Yeah, server is only 512 megabytes of RAM, so we get chunk errors a little bit, but not a big deal. Okay, so we're back, and the chunk errors are gone. So this is what I mean by varying skill level. Uh, this is Kelly's house. Oh, crap, creeper. Kelly, or tap that taco 12. And it's really not very good. I've been asking her to take it down, actually, because it slightly uglies up the town. It's harsh, but true. Um, okay, her house is very dark. That's probably where the creeper came from. But yeah, there's a dirt rooms back here, which is also, like, why would you make a dirt section of your house? Okay, so, you just shot me. God damn it, get the hell away from me. Uh, yeah, so that's basically all the town. That's pretty much all I can show here. We haven't gotten a lot done yet. Um, right now we've got five people on. We'll probably have a little more on in a little bit. Uh, another chunk error, man. This hasn't been happening before. It must be because of fraps. Yeah, if you come over here, there's Teddy Bear Domo. Uh, she's Canadian, hence the A shirt. <laughs> That's really strange. Golden shoes. It's Evan. Uh, yeah, Pangor just doesn't have a house here because he just kind of ran off on his own. But he left us an enchanting room and some potion stuff, so that sounds fine. Um... Yeah, there's really not much else to go over here. The town's not very developed yet. Once we start getting it built up a little more, I might come back here, but for now it's pretty basic. So now we're in the nether. This is, in the future, going to be our hub. We're going to connect all of our houses through nether rails, just because that's really the only way to do it. Uh, those coordinates are for Chris's portal, I guess. So... Now, if you go on a straight line down here, this goes over to the Mushroom Island. So I guess I'll head over there and I'll start recording whenever I get back. Okay, hello. Now we're on the Mushroom Island, which I just found while trying to search for my house a little while ago. So I made a massive tunnel through the nether, which is over through that portal. And here you can see my sign. I claimed the Mushroom Island. So it's mine. And if anyone else builds on it, I'm just flat out tearing it down, because that's a very obvious sign. So yeah, down back that way is where all my valuables are. I guess I'll make a run down there just to show you what I've got. Just ignore the chat. It was a partial conversation, which I'm now recording, so you don't actually know what any of that was. So we've got six people on right now. We got Richmond now. He does not have a house in the town. I don't think he's building one. We also have Chris. He's also not building one. So you don't get to see those until they actually finish their main house. Alright, so I got some nether ward. Plenty of cobble now. I was having a cobble shortage when I was building that original house. Mossy cobble, redstone, iron, 27 diamond, um, a bucket. So yeah, not too bad for like a regular caving run and decent sized strip mine. Guess I'll take that. So yeah, now we're gonna head back through the portal and I'm actually gonna make like two diamond picks. And we're just gonna dig through some netherrack and I'll explain the whole concept of the server and everything while we're over there. So I'll be back when I do that. Okay, so we're back. Since you left, a couple more people joined. 18 MBR, which is Marcus, and the Atomic Brit, which is Connor. I might do like an introduction of everyone on the server at some point. Oh, look, Jurgens. Okay. Yeah, I had Pangers set up a script to tell people to be careful what they say, because I'm recording, but 
he doesn't seem to have a full handle on it because he uses it about 20 times every time someone logs in. So yeah, we are pretty full now. We've got like, I think, nine people. Maybe ten. I'm not completely sure. I don't feel like kind. Alright, so we're di I'm just going to dig this tunnel, mainly because I need something to do while I talk about this. Alright, so essentially, I was originally doing Z-Man server and doing like all of my off-camera stuff on Damn Near Vanilla, where I had the Enderman farm set up and everything. But there were some disagreements with the admin, and I ended up getting banned for arguing with him. So now I'm done on there, and a lot of other people went with me when I got banned. So me and my friends who played on there pitched in, and we bought a 18-slot, $10 server. So we're paying for this one now. I used to host this same world on my computer, but it's a lot easier to do it with a hosting service since it's more reliable even though my computer is a lot more powerful than the server we bought so yeah now we're playing on this server and first thing I went to after I made my starter house I went to find a house I didn't find any land for like 5,000 blocks and then I traveled some more and I found a mushroom biome okay so I'm just going to keep digging this. So, plans for this server. Basically, everyone, or at least a lot of people, are building starter houses in the town. And that's where we're going to go if we're going to do anything community-wise. Like, going and hunting down the Ender Dragon, and we're probably going to do that as one server event. With everyone doing it. And, aside from that, we might do, like, some big like community project that everyone just kinda pitches in on their own time like PvP arena maybe something like that so the server is fully vanilla there are no bucket plugins or anything and we have 18 slots and there are currently 18 people whitelisted I might bring it up to like 20 or something cause some of the people don't play very often that are whitelisted right now and I really don't think it would matter because I doubt we'd ever have all the players on anyway so I'll probably bring in, get a few more people on the server, but I'm not sure who. At some point, if this starts doing pretty well, we might start doing a, um, we might upgrade to a cow package on Beast Node, which would give us 760 megabytes of RAM instead of 512, which seemed to low to me at first, but apparently it can handle 18, so. It seems to run pretty well when it's almost full, so. I'm not going to question it. So, yeah, if we need to, we can upgrade to that, which would be 15 bucks a month, but since we're splitting it, it would only be like 225 each. So we might upgrade to that if we ever get some kind of... There will be other people recording on here, and if we ever get some kind of followers, we might do a competition or something to get more people on here. But got to make sure we get trusted people, because nothing's protected. It's basically... Do whatever you want, but just kind of restrict yourself. You should know what's not allowed and what is allowed. Like, we're planning on doing pranks and everything like that once we all get our houses established, but right now we're kind of laying off it because nobody really has a house yet. So it would just be really annoying to constantly get annoyed. So... This nether tunnel I'm digging right now is to the Mushroom Island. That's There's also a nether stronghold right below the portal there. So I'll probably go in there if I need nether brick and keep that to myself. Keep that to myself, sorry. Hiccup. So yeah, I'll be using that for nether brick because I use a ton of nether brick. So yeah, there's not a lot more to talk about. I... Yeah, I'm definitely not going to do Z-Man server anymore. What are they doing? Alright, so... Yeah, not really much else for me to talk about. This video is more of an introduction to the... Uh, to the server than anything else. Not really much else to do. So... I'll probably have another episode soon whenever I find a good place to build my house, and I'll get started on all that then.
but for now there's really not a lot I can do. Um, oh, I need to take this whole thing back one more. So, yeah, I can't really think of anything else. So, yeah, I'm just going to stop. I'll Actually, I'll keep recording. I might just time lapse this whole tunnel or just do a quick fast forward of the whole thing being dug out, like, instantly. Yeah, actually, I'll probably just stop recording because even if I did do the fast forward, it would still be just as uninteresting. So, yeah, that's pretty much all for today. See ya.